Welcome back. This section is a focus on the community resource. And our community resource tonight is the Bluegrass Community Foundation. Did I get that right? You did. And my yes. guests are Madonna Turner, who's the board chair, and Laurie Preston, who is director of community engagement. Very good. Did I get that right? <laughs> you okay. did, yes. Well, now, when I heard you guys were coming, I did, I did looked you up and, and was really surprised to find out it's a pretty big, impressive organization. Yes, tell it me, is. Tell me, <laughs> tell me about it. Well, the Bluegrass Community Foundation is a community foundation, one of many across the country, and we have a professional staff that includes two lawyers and two CPAs. It all started 50 years ago this month when the Sulier family from Lexington decided that they wanted to leave a gift for their community. And they did that, and then they got some friends to, to add to that just to improve their community, to make it better, to improve the quality of life throughout the community. And today we have over 550 fund holders. Um, we have assets of about $105 million. Wow. And last year alone, we granted out $9 million in grants across the communities. Well, Lori, tell me, Give me some examples of how all this works. Well, sure. There's um, a combination of things that seem to occur here. We have everything from um, funds, which you might have heard about people um, possibly after they, you know, are going to pass on, they're going to leave a legacy gift that um, that if they want to leave a portion of it to their community so that they can give back, it's one way to do it. Um, that's often commonly heard for community foundations, but there's lots of other things too. You could open up um, a fund and you would have, you know, the Dr. Fox fund, um, and you could put any amount you'd want in that, and you would able, uh, donor advised fund, for example, you'd be able to grant out to different organizations, nonprofits, or anything that um, you would like as a charitable organization, and create that, or even a scholarship. Um, so this is a great way for people in the community who have a charitable dream, they want to do it, and we make it happen. That's basically the bottom line. Well, Madonna, give me some examples that have occurred here. And is it just Kentucky that you do it, or just Lexington, or? Yes, our organization covers central and eastern Kentucky, uh, many counties across, and we also have county funds that have been established in many of those counties. For example, in Clark County, Madison County, Rowan County, they have their own community funds that people who live and work in those areas can put charitable dollars for ph philanthropic purposes into those funds. In the Lexington area, there are numerous funds, as uh, Lori said, both endowed funds and non-endowed funds for everything from the arts to healthcare to food to uh, parks and rec. Whatever someone's passion is, they can establish a fund and then money is granted out from those funds for whatever purpose the donor chooses, whatever passion they have, uh, to improve the community. Well, Laurie, is there a specific way that it works? I mean, if, if I want money, do I ask you guys for it? If I want to give money, do I have to set up a fund? I mean, is there a, is there a process you guys prefer to go through? Well, there's lots of different ways. I mean, one of the best things about a community foundation is that we are not only a place where people can make charitable dreams happen, but also a convener of lots of different initiatives and uh, things that happen in the community. So, for example, um, we do the Good Giving Challenge every year right around uh, the end of November, and this is a great way for um, different people in the community to give as little or as much as they could possibly want in a fun and rewarding way online. Um, that'll be coming up on Giving Tuesday in November 28th. Um, and the idea, that's just one simple way that we reach out to everyone in the community. But yes, if you were interested in establishing something a little more permanent, um, it's as simple as contacting us online at you know www.bgcf.org to learn about all these different ways that it can happen. To sometimes, I always say it's very difficult to explain what a community foundation does because we do so much. Um, and there's a great video on our website as well that really describes it in a very simple and easy way for everyone to understand. But yes, people do look to us to grant out money as well. Um, and that is more along the lines, we do grant out a great deal, as she mentioned, nine million in the last year alone. Um, the idea is that those grants go out in a number of different ways. Everything from scholarships, as we mentioned, we have quite a few of those, to um, early childhood and literacy grants. Um, and we have a number of those as well online. 50 years, you said 50 years. You got a 50 year anniversary coming up. Yes, we do. In a week, we have a 50th anniversary. We're going to celebrate our founders and our fund holders. 
and we're also going to show some of those founders what we've done in the 50 years, things like the Legacy Trail, the On the Table conversations that were uh, taking place in March of last year, 11,000 people across the city um, talked about what they wanted done, lots of other things, the ways we've been involved in the community. Well, it's great information. Thank you for coming in and sharing with us. Thank you.